Hey there, today I'm going to be showing you six new dump and go slow cooker recipes and the coolest part about these slow cooker meals today is they only have about three ingredients in them. So these are some of the easiest slow cooker meals of all time and these slow cooker recipes do not lack any flavor. I know they have few ingredients but they are still bursting with flavor and super delicious. So I hope you enjoy it and let's go get started. To kick us off today, we are making my all-time favorite barbecue chicken sandwiches. These are so good. To the inside of my slow cooker, I sprayed it with non-stick spray. Next, I'm adding in two large chicken breasts. My chicken was frozen simply because I forgot to take it out in time to thaw. You could always use more chicken or less chicken depending on how many people you are feeding. Next, I added in a half a cup of barbecue sauce followed by a third a cup of Italian dressing. This this Italian dressing gives these chicken sandwiches so much flavor. This cooked on low for about six hours and I did serve these barbecue chicken sandwiches with coleslaw and I really want to show you my favorite coleslaw recipe. So to this medium sized bowl I added in a 16 ounce bag of shredded green and red cabbage with shredded carrots. Then I added in a half a cup of mayonnaise, tablespoon of sugar, half a teaspoon of pepper, a tablespoon of lemon juice, one teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar or you could use a regular white vinegar. Give this a really good stir and then you are going to want to put some cling wrap over the top or a lid and let this sit in your refrigerator for at least two hours to chill. This barbecue chicken recipe is so easy because all you have to do when your chicken's cooked through is just shred it up in the juices in the slow cooker. I'm using my electric hand mixer to shred my chicken, but you could easily use two forks or a meat masher to shred it up. This barbecue chicken is so good. Also, here's what the coleslaw looks like whenever we're having like a party with my family. They always ask me to bring this coleslaw. It's just amazing. Here's my plate of food. Food. We like to serve the coleslaw in the hamburger bun with the barbecued chicken, but you could easily serve it on the side. I also served this with some steamed corn and a side salad. You need to make this barbecue chicken recipe and the coleslaw. Growing up, my mom used to make this huge batch of spaghetti sauce, so I'm really excited to make it for you today. To the pan on my stove, I added one pound of sausage, or you could use ground beef if you prefer ground beef in your spaghetti sauce. I'll break that sausage up and I cooked it through. Now that my sausage has cooked through, I'm just removing any excess grease in the pan. I'm doing that by wiggling my spatula around with a paper towel just to absorb it, but now that I have most of that grease. I am going to pour the sausage into my large slow cooker. I do want to let you know this is a really big batch of spaghetti sauce so you could always half this recipe if you'd like. Now I'm adding in two 29 ounce cans of tomato sauce followed by two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. My mom actually used to make this huge batch of spaghetti sauce and whatever we wouldn't eat she'd just freeze the rest in bags. Now for the seasonings I'm adding in two tablespoons of brown sugar followed by two bay leaves. These bay leaves add quite a bit of flavor and the brown sugar might sound silly to you but just trust the process. I also added in a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. That also might sound silly but just trust this recipe. I promise I won't lead you astray. Now add in two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of onion and garlic powder. Give this a stir and let this cook on low for about seven to eight hours. Once the spaghetti sauce was almost through cooking, I started on my spaghetti noodles. So to this pot of boiling water, I added in those spaghetti noodles and I'm going to cook them according to the bag instructions. And here's what the spaghetti sauce looks like once it's cooked through. It doesn't look much different, but my house was smelling so, so amazing. I can't even begin to explain to you how good this spaghetti sauce is. And here's my plate of food. I topped my spaghetti with a little bit 
bit of Parmesan cheese and fresh parsley. This is like my favorite spaghetti sauce of all time. I also serve this with a side salad and I used Italian dressing for the dressing. And then I also made these breadsticks. They're just like quick and easy breadsticks that I made in the oven. And here's what the box looks like. I definitely recommend getting them. I found mine at Smith's. Now we're making this classic chicken and gravy, so to my slow cooker I'm adding in two large chicken breasts. Over those chicken breasts I'm adding in one can of cream of chicken soup. If you don't care for cream of chicken, you could use cream of mushroom or cream of celery as a substitute. Now add in a tablespoon of ranch seasoning and a tablespoon of brown gravy mix. It's just one of these packets. I didn't add the entire packet in, just about a tablespoon. This cooked on low for six hours. Once this was finished cooking, I just shredded that chicken. As you could see, it's shredding with the back of my fork. It is super duper tender, and now it's time to serve it up. And here's my plate of food. I like to serve this with mashed potatoes and steamed peas. This chicken and gravy has so much great flavor. It is total comfort food for me and my family. I really love making this, especially on cold days. It has been so cold here in Utah recently. Now we're making this pineapple barbecue chicken and if you've never made it, you are missing out. So to my slow cooker, I added in two large chicken breasts. Next, add in a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. I did drain my can before adding it in. Then add in about a cup of barbecue sauce. You could use any brand or any type of barbecue sauce that you like. Cover this with the lid and cook it on low for about six hours. Once the cooking time is up, all you have to do is shred your chicken. I'm shredding mine with my meat masher. It is just super simple like that. And then I'm serving this over rice and I'm going to serve it up right now. Here's my plate of food. I also served this with steamed broccoli and I sprinkled sesame seeds over everything. This is super good and we love how the sauce goes down in the rice and it makes the rice extremely flavorful. If you've never made this recipe, you need to make it. Now we're making these creamy chicken tacos. So to my slow cooker, I am adding in two large chicken breasts. As always for my recipes, you could always double them or half them. Next, I'm adding in one cup of salsa followed by six ounces of cream cheese. I did cube my cream cheese into smaller pieces. This cooked on low for six hours. After six hours of cooking, just shred your chicken up and kind of incorporate that cream cheese in and then all you have to do is serve this up. I've been making my family these creamy chicken tacos for years now, and we like to serve them in little flour tortillas topped with cheese, cilantro, shredded lettuce, and tomatoes. These are packed full of flavor. You will love them. Now we're making this cheesy lasagna, and this one is also a meatless meal. So to my slow cooker, I'm spraying it with plenty of nonstick spray. This will also help keep your lasagna from burning so much to the sides of your slow cooker. We are going to be making three layers total. So for each layer of this lasagna, you're going to be pouring about a cup and a half of marinara sauce down, then add about two and a half oven ready lasagna noodles. You might need to break those noodles into smaller pieces to kind of fit into your slow cooker better. Then add three-fourths cup of ricotta cheese to each layer along with a dash of onion powder, garlic powder, and oregano. Then this is optional but I do like to add some cheese to my lasagna or I guess I should say extra cheese. So I added a fourth a cup of parmesan cheese on each layer and I repeated the layers. I do want to let you know if you did want to add meat to this like cooked sausage you can or if you wanted to add some veggies to this, you could add sauteed veggies to each layer. Mm -hmm. 
this cooked on low for about four to five hours and towards the end of the cooking time, you do need to keep an eye on this lasagna because you don't want the noodles to burn to the sides of your slow cooker, but those noodles are nice and tender. They are cooked perfectly. This lasagna is full of flavor and like I said before, you could really make this your own by adding sausage if you'd like or different vegetables. My entire family loves this one, especially my toddler. I have plenty more videos like this on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any more in the future. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.